Hello, I'm Claire McNally, Lady Captain of Kirkuson Castle Golf Club. I joined the club in 1997 and sat on committee for one year in 2010. This one year on board showed me the huge amount of work that goes on behind the scenes to not only organise golf competitions in-house but also inter-club matches and the charitable fundraising that our ladies branch are so heavily involved with. This community spirit allows us all to support the Portaferry branch of the RNLI by giving half the funds raised, plus the lady captain can select a charity of her own choice. We have supported, for example, the Down Syndrome Association, Alzheimer's UK, Cancer Research, to name but a few, with creating a cookery book, organising a quiz night and a food farmer's fair. The generosity of the Kirkus and Castle family, as we like to think of ourselves, is so heartwarming and uplifting. There is no doubt that the old saying, the more that you put in, the more you get out, is so true in Kirkus and Castle. Such a friendly and welcoming group of people that make the club what it is. I had the pleasure and privilege to play on one of our ladies' teams over the years, and I can thoroughly recommend being part of the club in this way. It can be nerve-wracking standing on the first tee of a match or hoping that my putt will drop to give us a half or even better a win. But I can honestly say that the team have such a special bond that we have made friends for life, all thanks to golf and the club. Standing on the third tee on a bright Friday morning, we all still marvel at the panoramic view of the Isle of Man, Scotland and the Mountains of Mourne. We are blessed with our coastal position on the peninsula and sometimes we even feel blessed with all the trials and tribulations of our true links course and the challenging weather. Four seasons and one day is not unusual. Underlying all of this, the camaraderie and the friendship forged on and off the course. However, one friendship was tested in a few years ago during Mr. Captain's prize to the ladies. On the 18th green, I was tending the flag for my partner who just happened to be an ex-lady captain and a member of Malone Golf Club also. Said lady had a 45 foot putt and although I was standing by the flag, I became totally mesmerised by the trajectory of her putt. Horror upon horror, but the ball hit the flagstick and popped into the hole and I was standing still in a daze. A two shot penalty was the result for my partner a rule that I never fully understood. Story isn't over yet, as to add insult to injury, I was unable to attend the prize giving. And as I'd won my section, my poor partner had to receive the prize on my behalf. Thankfully, our friendship survived the incident. I'm so delighted that with the new rules, this shouldn't happen. It was certainly a very steep learning curve for me. Stay safe and well, and we look forward to welcome you members and guests back to the fairways.